Uh, hello, good evening. Um, this is Jin Yang Wang. Uh, Jin Wang, I want to talk about the added distance tonight. So, what is added distance? For example, we have two strings, string one and string two. And uh, you want to convert string one to string two. So, you want to use three operations or uh, edit to do this. You can insert, you can remove, you can replace. And uh, uh, all of the above three operations are of the same cost for the most. Here, string one is GEEK, string two is GESEK, so you need to insert S here to convert string one to string two. So the output at its distance is one. Another one is cat to cart. So you need to do one thing is uh, replace A by U, so the output is one at its distance. From Sunday to Saturday, um, we need to do uh, three operations. Um, first, replace N by R, is N by R, and then insert T and A, T and A. Um, then we can convert Sunday to Saturday. Okay. Now let's start to do the coding. So first we define the two strings. Let's see string one equals let's see geek and then we define string two let's see g seek And then we define a function to calculate the cost to calculate the added distance between these two strings. Okay, first we need to define a public static int function called minimum. This minimum function can give us the minimum uh, value between x, y, and z, which is the three options. Uh, three options distance, we want to know which one give you the minimum. So in case x is, x is smaller than y, and X is uh, smaller than the same return. We follow the same logic. The Y is smaller than X. Then, then you return Y. Otherwise, you return. X is already okay. Okay, after you define this function of minimum, let's do the real job. Need 
obtain this. Um, this function we need uh, when when one. Is the length of string one sixteen? Is the length of string two? Okay, now we do the real job. We will try to calculate. Okay, if string one, if string one's length is zero we need to string in insert all the two to string one for the added distance then in, here, in, in the other side if n is zero then we need to insert all the m characters from string one to delete from uh, all the character from string n to make it the same as string two so this is the two situation we need to consider. And if both of them are not their lengths, then we need to do one thing. We need to calculate the three um, we need to check if the string ones uh, are at the last m minus one equal to when two are at the last minus one if they are the same then nothing need to do we own we will continue to return uh, at the distance between the uh, subarrays of string one and string two by removing the last character. So that is string one. String two. So the yin, the minor n minus one m minus one and minus one because we are not looking at the last characters. Else, we need to do something to make the last character the same. Firstly, uh, we can calculate the uh, the insert, um, which means we insert one the same last character of from the string two to string one, then the distance will be one plus the other distance. That that means the string one, string two, the same thing. But uh, in this term, because we already insert the last character into the um into the string one, so we start from n minus one and the uh, Um, and yeah, yeah, but the, with the same, but we are going to start from for the second character, we will start from n minus one because we already insert that one, so now you don't need to consider it. And this is the insert distance. Equals Another option is delete distance. What is delete distance? We will delete the last character from string one. So we, in the next term, you need to start from n minus one. But for the second uh, string, string, string two, we still have the same. So we, we delete nothing from it. So the delete distance will be one. So deletion under the other substance. And for the last one is the replace. So for the replace distance, 
we have string one and string two, and then we don't care about the last character because it's already replaced. Both strings will start from the last second character. And then we return the minimum one from those three distance. Which one give you the shortest? Which one would be the best? Okay, everything's good. Let's try it. our um okay and um equal to one. When two lines say then let's print. the distance class is Let's call it uh, E. Okay, use this class method. Edit the distance to calculate the stream one and string two distance stream one and two distance. Okay, it should be okay. We miss a semicolon again. Okay, it should be returning. Sorry, into one, into two, and we'll find some. It should be this. Simon column. Why you cannot find sample? Nice. I couldn't. How to calculate the edit distance between two strings? Firstly, we need to know the string lines with them. Okay, it's coming out. So I missed the round brackets. So it says string one and string two, their edit distance is one. Let's calculate this one's edit distance at the final um, test. Only if you can remember, actually, the active distance between something and the set is, is three. Let's try to see if the output is real or not. It should be three. Correct. Okay, everything's done. Thank you, guys.